Hello and welcome to the Hype Math channel. My name is Miss Math and in today's video, I would like to do two things. One, introduce you to Tux. Tux is one of our characters in our early math series for kindergarten and first graders and also give you a sneak peek into one of our digital books that will be coming out soon. It is Tux Knows How to Count Coins. This book, as it says, will help students with having a digital interactive way of reviewing and having fun while counting coins. Now you may be asking yourself, Miss Math, what does digital interactive mean? It means that this book is for students to be on a laptop, desktop, or a mobile device like a tablet as they go through the book. Also, the interaction means that they are able to click as they go through. And you will see an example right now. Let's dive in. Tux knows how to count coins. So you see that they are able to click the arrow and it's just like a regular book. Here I am showing again what the name of the book is, giving a dedication to my wonderful husband and also my kids and also my love of math. And the student will be able to click the arrow again. Here is a page that is all the introduction page, but also it shows the other books that we have as well. And all of the books in the Tux Nose Math series are early math, uh, early math books, and also the Furry Feather Squad, they will be coming up soon, um, transitioning the books from regular books that I had to digital books, you will meet that crew as well. So here is an introduction to the student so that they know what they're doing. And Tux in this book is a pirate and he loves treasure chests and counting the coins in it. And what he does is ask the student or ask the player if they would like to count coins with him. Here's the arrow so that the student knows, okay, I need to click it. Now, the following pages are just, again, a sneak peek. It is not the full version book. That will be out on um, tomorrow. So this recording is on Thursday. So Friday, the full book will be out. And of course, I will have another video just showing a little bit more of this book. So here, again, what the student is doing is reviewing if they understand or relearning how to count coins. So this says Tux knows that one penny is equal to, well, what the student is going to have to do is tell how many, what the amount of one penny is. So let's say they say it's seven cents. Well, that's not correct. They have to go back. Now, here is a key. Whenever they choose wrong, what the page does is it'll say, one cent is equal to, so that's kind of a clue to the student about where they need to click or what the amount is, I, my apologies, where they need, what the amount is. So I'm gonna click back to the arrow and it allows the student to go back to the page and click again. So let's say that the student click show, uh, says it's two cents and I'm just showing you what will happen if the student clicks the incorrect amount. Again, it takes them to the page that's saying, try again, pirate friend, one cent is equal to, they have to go back and here it's one cent. So they got it correct. And again, one penny is equal to one cent. So as they're going along in this digital book, not only are they reviewing, they may not know. And so they're either being introduced to coins or they're re learning the amounts. Let's click the arrow to go to the next page. Now this is different and it looks different because there are three different types of questions that students are asked to 
review and see if they understand how to count coins. This is the second one. Tux knows that one dime and one nickel are equal to. Now, what I really like about this page is not only is are the coins in the piggy bank, also on the right hand side, they have their being able to visually see, okay, that's one dime and one nickel and just reiteration to help them strengthen their foundation in the math concept of counting coins. So again, I'll show one time this time, let's say they chose 10 cents, try again, pirate friend. And so now here, when they get it wrong, what I've done is I'll show that there's a dime that's 10 cent and there's a nickel, five cents, that's one way they can answer it. And here is another way, 10 cents plus five cents equals, and when they get to that page, it's to help them, okay, you answered the question wrong, let's give you a little help to help you in answering the question correctly. So the student goes back to the original problem, one dime and one nickel, or they can look at the piggy bank and know that it is 15 cents. They click it, they are given Yes, you are right, you are correct. One dime and one nickel are equal to 15 cent. And again, here it is, students are able to see the dime and the nickel, visually the coins, they're able to see it in words, and they're also able to see the amount. So let's look at the last type of question that is in the Tux Knows How to Count uh, Coins book. Now this, type of question is where students are given the amount. So here is a lollipop. I absolutely love this picture. It kind of embodies what my personality is. <laughs> it's 43 cents. And what the student has to do is look over and find the, the box, click the box that shows which one has 43 cents? So Tux knows that the lollipop cost, let's say they said it's this one, okay? This is 18 cent. Well, no, that's not correct. Try again, pirate friend. Find the coins that equal to 43 cent. They click the arrow back and I'll go ahead and click the correct one. It's right here. And again, they are celebrated, right? So in the correct page, not only do they see the tag with the EMA amount, which is the 43 cent in this example, it also lays out the coins to show them all of the coins that made up 43 cents. So even if they clicked it and they got it right, it's just showing them one more time what made up that 43 cent. And there is at the end of the digital book, a counting money review and the counting dollars is another uh, digital book that uh, we're coming out with to help students with counting dollars and then there'll be an activity book for them to count money but we really wanted to focus on the coins separately and also the dollar bill separately so students can review them in isolation or in a silo so that they can strengthen that skill for one and then the other before they are reviewed together. So, and at the end, thank you friend for counting coins with me, arg. And that is it. When they click the arrow, it takes them back to the front of the book. That is it. So I just wanted to re to introduce you to Tux, he's one of our characters in, the, in our early math series and also give a sneak peek of our new digital book that's coming out, Tux Knows How to Count Coins. My name is Miss Math. I will talk to you later.